Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your artist from abroad again. This time I'm going to show you a house in Doel. Doel is a ghost town in Belgium. I've been painting many houses in Doel and they all became very colorful. I'll show you how many colors I put in there. Look, this is all the sticks that I use for preparing the paint. The artwork that I put on the houses related to crop circles. They were crop circle inspired paintings. So now I'm going to show you the process of creating one of these crop circle paintings. Here we go. The crop circle you see here is a depiction of the Saros cycle. The Saros cycle is a pattern in time of a certain type of sun eclipses. And here you see reporter Ad Nuis. He is about to write an article for a big Belgian newspaper about my activities. Paint on other months of top left. That's not a lot. You have a problem with it? Yes. Then we're going to call police. Why is that? Because it's not allowed. The next moment, a villager seems not so happy with what I'm doing. It's not allowed. I'm going to call the police. Let me talk. No. He considers it vandalism. Who are you? That's the, that's the normal fact of. Who are you? Who are you? I'm a Belgian yeah. and I'm living in this village and yes. I'm protecting the village. Well, I'm not harming the village, I'm making it better. No, that's not better. I had to be informed. I've, I've written my motivation, I show you. No, I'm, so, I'm calling the police. Why are you not open for a discussion? I have to move, otherwise I will be fined. I think you are making this place better. Thank you. Dutch television makers came around for an interview with me. Unfortunately, they forgot to show the part in which I explained the significance of the crop circle. The absurdity of a government finding citizens who try to add some colors to a depressing ghost town seemed also not interesting for them. Those that ruined the whole place for 15 years or more by hunting the people out of their houses have never been punished. That, of course, should not be considered vandalism. Who cares?
The paint hasn't dried yet, nor has the project finished or the first wrappers already appeared to shoot a nice video clip in front of the afro looking artwork.